University in Nashville, Tennessee at the second presidential debate. But there's breaking news in Las Vegas tonight. The FBI has raided the offices of a group called ACORN and is investigating voter fraud. So what is ACORN and what does the organization do? Join us live is Molly Ball, political reporter for the Las Vegas Review Journal. Molly, what is ACORN and what does it do and what's the problem? Well, just to correct you real quick, it was not the FBI, but the Nevada Secretary of State's office and the Nevada Attorney General's office that are conducting this investigation and that carried out this raid. Uh, ACORN stands for the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now. They are a group that does a variety of community organizing functions. Their goal is to mobilize and empower and to help uh, lower income people, lower income families. A major component of that is voter registration. So they are going into poor neighborhoods, they are sending canvassers out with voter registration forms, trying to get poor people to vote. They, uh, they are a nonpartisan group technically. They do have a, what could be considered a liberal political agenda in terms of the things they want to accomplish. But, uh, but they are a nonpartisan group whose goal is to incorporate poor people right. into the process. All right, poor people have an absolute right to vote, so that, that doesn't seem to be a problem. But uh, what is the problem? Well, the problem is massive voter registration fraud. Now, that's different from voter fraud. So what they're doing is they're sending people, canvassers, out into these neighborhoods. A lot of times the canvassers themselves are poor people who are looking to make $8 an hour doing this. And what they have to do is go out there and sign people up to vote who weren't already registered. And uh, it, this is a hard thing to do. This is Nevada. This is, we're talking July and August. It's 110 degrees in the shade. And you want people to stand in front of the welfare office or the DMV 10 hours a day, flagging people down and getting them to register to vote. Now, if you've got to do that and you've got a quota to meet by the end of the day, would you rather be out in the heat on your feet? Or would you rather maybe go into the air-conditioned library and just write down the, the names of the Dallas Cowboys starting roster, which is what it is alleged that was done here in part, is that we had voter registrations turned in for Tony Romo and Terrell Owens. All right, now I understand that since February, 90,000 people have been registered to vote uh, by this organization in Nevada. 90,000 is, is a, seems to, seemingly, to, at least to me, is a large number. Is there any sort of idea, is it just one or two Dallas Cowboys who are fraudulently lamed as registered voters, or are there a lot? Uh, they do think it is thousands. The uh, registrar of voters here in Clark County, and Clark County is, is the Las Vegas area, and that's where all of ACORN's activity has been in the state. Uh, it is the urban center of Nevada with 70% of the population. And uh, the registrar of voters here has said that he was getting hundreds, um, perhaps thousands of registrations per week turned in by this group, many of them fraudulent. Now, the, the, now was this, a, again, it was a few canvassers basically ripping off their bosses, or was this a systematic effort to, you know, pad the voter registration database, they think it's the former. They, they, they don't think there was an intent to, 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 to perpetrate fraud on the part of the organization. Uh, and the other thing that is important to remember is the authorities are saying this doesn't compromise the election in any way because most, if not all, of these fraudulent registrations did not make it onto the voter rolls. In the cross-checks that are conducted with existing humans, existing addresses, and uh, driver's license and social security numbers, uh, most of, or if not all, of the fraudulent registrations that got turned in were discovered by the registrars that do those and checks and were kept off the rolls. Molly, thank you. Did you guys know that the entire Dallas Cowboys starting lineup is from Nevada? Yes. Yeah. Well, they're voting there. <laughs> <laughs> According to uh, a new report coming out of Las Vegas, ACORN, you've become familiar with that organization in the last couple of weeks. Guess what? That office was raiding, raided in Vegas yesterday for voter fraud. And one of the things, allegedly, that they did was they signed up to register to vote in Nevada. 
the starting lineup of the Dallas Cowboys. Well, this particular group, uh, Acorn out in Vegas, was uh, submitting the information through a voter sign-up drive known as Project Vote. Barack Obama actually has a connection to Project Vote. Here's a little soundbite where he's talking about it. A friend of mine named uh, Sandy Newman, who was running this national project called Project Vote, contacted me. He said, we need somebody to help organize voters uh, to make sure that they turn out in the polls in the general election. And so I started working uh, as the director of Project Vote here in Chicago. And our task was simple. It was to get disenfranchised communities, minority communities, low-income communities, to turn out to vote. And this is getting so much bigger than you think. Nevada, Indiana, Ohio, all talking about uh, what it could be a massive voter fraud campaign. And so there you also see Barack Obama's got a direct connection to this right. project vote. We're going to be talking more about it a little later on on this very busy Wednesday. Yeah.